was in 2003 when U.S. rapper 50 Cent released his first album entitled Get Rich or Die Trying. And now 18 years later in the Bahamas, a natural resources activist group has now decided to become a political party. But instead of getting rich or die trying, it looks like they will say anything to get elected or they'll die trying. Now I support anyone who generally speaks up for our natural resources, whether it's oil, aragonite or otherwise. But by them saying that they're a political party, this causes me to question their motives, especially after the We March leader in 2017 appears to have used Bahamians in order to be appointed to the Senate. Many Bahamians feel that they've been used and don't want it to be a case of once bitten, twice shy. This group attacked Brave Davis by claiming that James Smith, BCP's deputy director, holds over 11 million shares on behalf of him, and these shares are worth over $33 million. But when shown that the share price is in GBX or pence, rather than GBP or pounds, and they're only worth over $300,000, Instead of apologizing, they decided to attack Perry Christie by saying that he unlawfully sold the seabed to BCP without parliamentary approval as required by Section 4 of the Petroleum Act 2016. But when the license was given to the company in 2007, the now repealed 1971 Petroleum Act was the law. The 1971 Act doesn't even allow for the seabed to be sold because in 1971 we were still a colony and only the governor general had these powers to sign on behalf of the queen. It wasn't until the 2016 act provided that these powers can be delegated to the minister to act as trustee on behalf of the queen. We all know that the seabed was never sold by Mr. Christie or anyone else because just last month, the Attorney General, Carl Bethel, said that the company is still leasing the seabed for their exploratory oil drilling. Now, in my opinion, had they owned the seabed, it would have been impossible for them to lease the property to themselves that they already own. This is now the second thing that they've said about either Mr. Christie or Mr. Davis that's being discredited. They should apologize to both men as well as the Bahamian people and demand that Dr. Minnis releases all permits, licenses and agreements relative to the oil company. Otherwise, it appears as if they'll do anything and they'll say anything to get elected or they'll die trying.